Hey, this is Brock Amirs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the GCC compiler on Linux. Okay, so GCC is the command that we can launch to essentially run a C compiler. I believe, I believe it stands for GNU C compiler. All right, and so what it's looking for is a C programming file. So you are going to write the following syntax, GCC, and then it's going to look in the folder that you are in for a source file that has a .c extension. Okay. This, this GCC compiler is built into Linux. So it's built into the CSCI 109 server that we have. And it's built, I, I think it's built into every version of C in, or every version of Linux. Okay. It was like C was used to create the, like the second version of Unix, which, and I think it was Linux was rewritten in C. So C is the master, right? I mean, <clears throat> it's on everything. It's on every Every, almost every Linux computer. So then once you compile it, what happens is that if you just leave it as GCC and then your source code.c, it'll just dump it to a random file name. It's usually a.out, okay? And we don't want that. We want to name our file that's the output. And so the output of this, if you think about it, it's going to be an executable. And what we do is we say dash O for an, ar for an argument and we say the name. So in this class, what I want you to do is I want you to name your executable the same name as your source file, but without any extensions. So we're not going to do .exe. We're not going to do anything like that because on Linux, if it doesn't have an extension, Linux thinks that it is a command. And so it will try to run it if you say to run it. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Let's say that we had a file called hello world.c <clears throat> and I want to compile it. I would do GCC space and I would give it hello world.c, then I'd do dash O hello world. Then when I get done, I would actually have this hello world file and it would be an executable and I could run it by doing dot forward slash hello world. Why dot forward slash? That's the Sonny Holland. It's going to tell Linux, hey, I want to run this. I'm going to type out this command I want you to run. And if you don't tell it in the dot forward slash, Linux will run through its path environment setting. And that means it will go through all these different folders that have been predefined as locations where executables might be. And it won't find it because you are not in the path. You're in your own working directory. So in order to tell the compiler, go into the, where I'm at right now and run this file, hello world, you do dot forward slash. Okay, let's do it. Okay, you're gonna do this a lot of times. The first time you do it though, it, it can be a little tricky. So I'm gonna walk you through from start to finish how to actually pull this off. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a program in C called Hello World, and it is going to echo back to the to the shell Hello World. This is usually the first program you ever write. You do not need to know any syntax that I am gonna type right now. All you need to do is be able to type this out in Vim and save it and follow along. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna launch a PowerShell and I'm actually going to launch two PowerShells because I want one to SSH in to the Linux server and develop this program and then I want another one to actually compile it okay so let me get <clears throat> let's first write the program so I'm in PowerShell I'm in Windows right now let me do this I'm going to go back back into the CSCI 109 folder in Windows and then I'm going to SSH over and I have it on my history uh, so I just keep going until I see it, SSH and then netid at cscis109.cs.montana.edu. I'm going to do my password. I've learned I can't talk while I'm typing my password or I mess it up. So that's why I'm always quiet for that few seconds. <laughs> okay, so I'm sitting here. Let me do an LL. I'm in my home directory and I have this mod02 uh, code along folder. That's where I'm going to go. So mod02. I'm going to hit tab and it's gonna auto-complete, that's nice. Now I'm in, if I do present working directory, I'm in my home directory, mod02 code along, and now I'm gonna look at what's in here, and there's our test2.txt file that we messed around with last time. And at this point, I want to create a file which has a C program in it, okay? So I'm gonna type the following. I'm gonna say vim, and I'm gonna say hello world.c. This is gonna create a new file, with a .c extension, which the GCC compiler will recognize. And I am gonna type in a program, okay? You do not need to know anything I'm gonna type. Just type exactly what I type, okay? If I'm gonna, I'm gonna first go into insert mode by uh, pressing lowercase i, and then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say uh, pound include, and then I'm gonna less than, and I'm gonna say standard io.h and close it. Don't need to know what that is, you just gotta have it, 
Now I'm going to type int space main void open curly. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to do this print F and then I'm going to do parentheses double quotes. Hello world. And then I'm going to go space and I'm going to do slash N double quote and then semicolon. And then I'm going to go return zero boom. And then I'm going to do close curly. That is the C program. It happens to be a program that is going to just echo back hello world to the, to the shell when I run it. You don't need to know anything at this point. This is what we will learn in this class. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to go escape to go back in, into normal mode. I'm going to do colon to enter in command mode. And then I'm going to do write by typing W and I hit return. Hello world has now been saved. And at this moment I can compile it. Okay, so now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here and I am going to take my source code and put it right here. And I'm now going to grab another. I'm going to I'll put this over here. Uh, I'm going to grab another shell. Okay, so I'll go over to PowerShell and I'm going to grab PowerShell. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring this over here. And so now here's my PowerShell and I'm going to SSH back into uh, the Linux machine. So I'm going to go, I'm in Windows right here, and I'm going to go back to, go up to one directory, and then I'm going to do SSH, which I have on my history, and then I'm going to do my type, my password. Not talking, so I don't mess it up. All right, here I am, present working directory. I'm in Linux. I'm going to go to my, take a look at what's in here. I'm going to change it in my mod O2. Go ahead and hit tab to autocomplete. And now I look in here, and look at Hello World's in there. Hey, Hello World. Now I'm going to compile it. So I'm going to type the following, GCC, that is the compiler. It calls the C compiler, GNU C compiler. Hello world dot C dash O and then hello world. And that's it. When I hit return, it should compile. So I hit compile and now it's like it didn't do anything. Well, it did. If you do LL again, it's going to show you a green file which does not have an extension and that is your executable. So now I can run that by doing the Sunny Holland or the look in this folder for the executable dot forward slash and I type hello world and it's going to run it. If I just hit return, it's going to run this program. Are you ready? Boom. <gasps> look at it. Hello world. <laughs> So you just did it. You just did your first C program. Now, you might have accidentally screwed up some of the syntax. So you might have come over here and been like, oh, I put two P's in here. That's a syntax error. One of the things that's really cool about our shell over here uh, when we go into this particular server is I set up this kind of C programming uh environment settings so that things highlight and and point out errors before you even compile it but in this situation if you looked at that i misspelled something that was supposed to be spelled differently in c and what happens is that the compiler or the vim itself noticed that something was wrong and it's like i think you got something wrong here and you're like you know what vim you don't know anything i'm gonna write this and then i'll come over here and i'll compile again so watch what i do here i'm gonna up arrow until I get to my to my GCC and I'm going to hit return and it's going to say, holy moly, you have all sorts of issues here. So you have PP rent. What in the world is that? It doesn't know what to do. So it gives you these errors and warnings and it tells you to go fix it. So it says, go to this line and clean this up. OK, so go to line five and clean this up. So then you come back here. You clean it up. You write it. Come back over here. Let me clear this. And then let's go ahead and, and compile again by up arrowing. And then I go ahead and compiled it again. I go to have run it and lo and behold, it worked. Okay. Now let's look at what would happen if I removed hello world the executable and I look in here and it's like, okay, it's gone. Now watch what happens if I just do GCC hello world.c. I'm not going to specify the output. And you're like, well, it still worked, right? So now let's look at what it did. It created this silly a.out file. I don't like that. We Nobody likes that. So you don't want a.out in your life. What you want to do is up arrow until you see the command to specify specifically the executable name that you want. Okay, that's GCC. You are going to do this 
at least a thousand times in this class. This will become so second nature that you will freak yourself out when you watch in four months or in 12 weeks, you're going to be like, wow, this is freaky. Okay. So you have done it. You have run GCC and life is good. Now, a couple things that we will also use in this class. There are other options you can use with GCC. Okay. There, there's actually tons of different options. And two of them, what we will use is one of them is called dash uh, warnings all, and it's a capital W. And it basically means sometimes you have syntax in your, in your code that isn't an error. It's just a warning. And, and GCC by itself sometimes won't show all the warnings. And this is really, really, it's widely seen when you set up a bunch of variables and you don't use them all. You know, that's not an error, but it is kind of bad coding practices. So it'll give you a warning, but it'll only show you if you do a dash warnings all on there. So the way that you do the syntax is you can put these, these, uh, you can put these little options anywhere. So I got GCC, hello world.c, dash O for the output, direct the output to hello world. And then I do a dash, uh, a dash wall. Okay. Then there's another one that is dash LM and that stands for link another file and this one links a math header file and we'll get to that halfway about halfway through the semester but those, those are just examples that you can have other options in your gcc command but you have done it that is done it that is the gcc syntax and actually that's your first program so congratulations and see ya